Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to find motivation as a developer. And if you're new to my channel, I teach programmers how to build blockchain technology, but this video is really for any developer who's struggling to find motivation, and really anyone who struggles with motivation. So before we get into that, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and click the like button down below. And as always, you can download my courses for free on my website over at dappuniversity.com forward slash free download. That's gonna get you on my email list where you can also find more about my blockchain developer bootcamp, which is gonna come out on May 15th, 2019. And you're gonna to want to find out more about that when it comes out. So let's talk about how to find motivation as a developer. And I'm making this video in response to a, a, a tweet that I got, you know, on my Twitter uh, from Ty Cooper. So Ty says, you should give tips on self-motivation for developers. Some things I find I struggle with are procrastination, splinter-minded, you know, working on too many projects at once, and time management. So thanks for the tweet, Ty. Thanks for the suggestion. And today we're going to talk about you know, motivation and how to find motivation, how to deal with this problem of not having any motivation. What do you do with that? How do you get anything done? Right? So this is a common problem. I mean, you're talking to somebody, you know, me, I'm a pretty busy guy. I spend a lot of time developing blockchain applications. You know, I run this YouTube channel. I put out regular content. I have a lot of things to do and I don't always feel motivated to get everything done. So I, this is something I have a problem with too, you know? And so I want to talk about how I deal with this effectively and how lots of other people who are, you know, top performers, you know, deal with this kind of problem. So let's talk about this problem of motivation, right? Because so many people struggle with it. And I think one of the main reasons they struggle with it is because they're focusing on the wrong thing. I think most of us deep down just think that motivation is exactly what we need to accomplish our goals, right? You know, passion and drive and, you know, just feeling awesome all the time is what's going to fuel us to, you know, accomplishing the things that we set out to do, following through with our commitments and, you know, things like that, right? But that's simply not the case, right? And let me explain what I mean by that, right? I think the reason we ask ourselves this question, like, how do I get motivation, is we think that there's some secret that if we uncover, that we'll find out how to just be you know, on fire and always just like, you know, hard charging and excited and just, you know, plowing through on everything every single day, right? But if you look at, you know, what I do, that's not how it works, really. Uh, over the long term, maybe for short periods, and lots of the people that I know who are very successful and top performers and things like that, that's not really how it works for them either, right? So let me talk about what questions we should be asking and how we should really address this problem motivation, right? Because the bottom line is you're just not always going to feel motivated. You're not always going to feel like it, right? But the important thing is to be doing things anyway, so I know that sounds really simple, but let's kind of break that down and actually, you know, look at how that works, right? And the first question is you have to ask yourself, you know, why do you feel unmotivated in the first place? Well, there's lots of reasons, um, but I can tell you a couple that come to mind that common, you know, are common reasons why people lose motivation when they're working on projects or they have work to do, right? Uh, for one, it stops becoming fun. And there are lots of reasons why it might stop becoming fun. You know, you don't have that initial just excitement that you had whenever you started. And also, it just becomes hard. And that can be one reason why it stops being fun, but also just extra layer of challenge that just kind of makes you want to quit, right? So these are things that we can expect to happen, and we should expect them to happen whenever we, you know start to do things that are hard and take a long time, like, you know, learn programming or accomplish difficult programming projects or program every single day and things like that, right? The real question is to ask are how can we plan to, you know, address these things ahead of time before we reach them, right? And that's the real point is that you should expect these things to happen and you should have a battle plan for how to address them before you even get to them because they are surely going to come. You're going to lose motivation things are going to stop becoming fun, and things are going to get hard, right? So whenever that happens, your judgment is going to be very bad because you're going to be in the middle of a situation that you don't want to be in. You're going to have a lot of bias. You're going to have a lot of stress. You're going to have a lot of fatigue. And those are horrible decisions, oh, excuse me, horrible times and circumstances for making decisions, right? And so your decision to quit or to go forward, right? It's it's not a really good spot to be in to make 
a good sound decision. And most of the time, you're just going to quit because you're are just thinking, make it stop, make it stop. I want to go do something else, right? I don't want to do this anymore. So how do you deal with that? The real secret, I think, is to make a game plan for how you can address those things ahead of time, right? And you basically just have to learn to work without any motivation. So how do you do that? Well, you pre-decide what you're going to do so that when you're in the middle and your motivation goes away, you're not just making decisions about what you should do. You should make the decisions before you get into the situations where you lose your motivation, right? So whether you're building an app that takes you know several days, weeks, months, et cetera, et cetera, to build, or you're just doing your job every single day, or you're working on another side project, or you're just learning to become a developer, Whatever it is, anything that you have to sustain across time, you want to pre-decide what you're going to do, right? So you basically have to take a goal, right? And instead of using your motivation to get you there, you basically have to make a plan that's going to get you there. And you have to break it up into, you know, stuff that you do every day or every other day or however it is. You know, you basically say, it's going to take X amount of work to get me there and be conservative, you know, overestimate and you break it down into a schedule for yourself. And you say, no matter what, whether I'm feeling motivated or not, I'm going to do this, you know, at least for this amount of time or for this amount of result or whatever, every single you know, day or five days a week, three days a week, you know, six, whatever it is, whatever your plan is that can get you there, you need to stick to the plan, regardless of what your motivation does. You have to basically create marching orders for yourself that say, I'm going to do this no matter what, whether I feel like it or not, this is what I'm going to do. Now, the important thing is to, you know, set up a system and a process for yourself. But the system and process should be something that's attainable, right? It shouldn't be something that's too hard. Because if it's too hard, you're not going to do it. And you're just going to, you know fall over and quit again your motive it's, it's not going to be just the problem of motivation either it's going to be that your system for getting you there was too hard so you want to find something that is you know just challenging enough to kind of keep you going every day but not too hard where you're going to want to quit either and i give you an example you know for me i make three youtube videos every single week and i don't always feel motivated to do that but, you know, I decided a long time ago that I wanted to, you know, build this YouTube channel and build great resources for you all. And I knew that, you know, taking the time to do three videos every single week um, was going to be a lot of work, but I could do it. And that would help me accomplish, you know, my goals over time. So that's an example of something that I do. And I don't always feel motivated to make the videos either, but I do them anyway because, you know, I decided this is something that was manageable for me and, you know, would get me to where I wanted to go over time, right? So... You know, I'm telling you this from experience as someone who has to deal with this problem, and this is how I deal with it, right? It's by creating a plan and sticking to it, like no matter what. It's do or die, right? These are the things that you have to do because eventually if you just rely on your motivation, it's going to go away and you're not going to accomplish your goals. You're not really going to get to where you want to go because motivation is not a really good fuel source, right? resolution is and sticking to something that you said you were going to do and broke out into a system that you knew you could hit you broke up into a process that was you know uh made sense and was attainable for you right and you know you the best so you're the one that should be you know setting your process for yourself ultimately you know you can help uh you can get help from other people but ultimately at the end of the day you need to decide what you think you can actually do and be realistic right and whenever you lack motivation, you basically just have to put one foot in front of the other and trust that the process that you set up is actually going to get you to where you're going to go. You have to trust that process. So I hope you all like this video. Again, if you're interested in learning how to build blockchain technology, you can download my courses for free on my website over at dappuniversity.com forward slash free download. That's going to let you also know about my blockchain developer boot camp, which is coming out on May 15th. 15th, 2019. Again, always subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and click the like button down below. And until next time, thanks for watching DAP University.